dark this morning, so don't mind the shadows. Um, hopefully, uh, it'll lighten up a little bit here as I get closer to work. Welcome to RV Fishing Chat. So, we got ourselves a little conundrum because I haven't talked about fishing for a while. And that's bad. So today I'm going to talk about fishing. And uh, what I want to talk about is you know, a lot of fishermen, they discount those little fishing holes, you know, little tiny fishing holes off in the backcountry. But I can tell from this weekend, I can tell you from this weekend, we had a phenomenal time fishing with the Hebert's. Uh, with John Hebert uh, back back country, I mean it was phenomenal, good fishing. Um, we were only there for a couple hours, or if that, and uh, we uh, figured out pretty quickly that the uh, that there was fish there. So, and I even caught a really white largemouth. It, it looked like a white bass. It was so white in the head lateral fine lateral lines which kind of told me that it was probably a white bass but that didn't make any sense so um, not in that little stream I can't imagine why there'd be it was a a creek off of the Rio or uh, Medina Medina River sorry jumping into Spanish there I was going to say the Rio Medina because that's the town it was nearby but yeah it was the uh, Medina River um, a tributary to the Medina River and I think it was above Medina Lake so um, kind of cool kind of cool the uh, there was a lot of a lot of um, a lot of grass in the water the uh, it's probably only about a hundred yards long uh, stretch of river where the or a creek where it kind of dammed up and um uh, it was probably only about maybe three or four feet deep in the deepest place, um, which is kind of interesting. But I tell you what, um, John Hebert caught a uh, probably a 16 or 17 inch bass out of there, and I caught a uh, he caught a, another one that was probably close to that, maybe 16, and uh, I caught a. We never we didn't take our pod trough, so I couldn't tell you, but I caught one that was probably about 15. So it's pretty good, uh, pretty good sign that you just cannot discount those little fishing holes. Uh, I can tell you from experience. Uh, I remember one time I was going down the Lano, and there was 20 feet of water in some of the places I was at, and uh, I, I say that it was it was deep. You couldn't hit the bottom very well with the spinner bait. Uh, you had to work at it, um, and I mean, you had to you had to drop it. So I mean, it was it was deep, and uh, but I saw this little you know creek coming in, and I said, "Huh, well, I'm going to go up that little creek a little bit." And it was just high enough to where I could get my kayak way up in there. But, I mean, it was I was scraping the bottom. I got all the way all the way up until the bottom stopped. I couldn't couldn't get uh, any any farther up the creek, but I could see. A little bit further there was a bit of a hole and it wasn't that deep but there was you know this much water um, coming over a ledge bass had to be kind of sort of maybe not really trapped but it was just a little bit of hole up there and I cast up in there and caught a 16 inch bass out of this I don't know 15 by 12 50 50 by 12 foot hole <clears throat> where the deepest part might have been two feet it's just it was crazy, and then I caught a second one out of there, even though I just tore, tore the whole hole up with the 16-inch bass. I tore the whole hole up. I mean, they were it was all over the place in that hole, turning up mud and stuff, and then I threw another one in there, cast it in there again, and caught another one. Of course, this was on buzzbait, of course. And, uh, yeah, it was crazy. So, uh, uh, again, my point is, the little places sometimes turn out really well. Um, I mean, obviously not any major tournament fish, but when you're having a tough day and you just you, you can't seem to catch anything in the big holes and the, the big areas where the fish are undoubtedly sitting there ignoring your bait, 
then try the little tributaries, try the little places, because sometimes those little places turn out pretty good, and at least give you a, a, a giggle and a laugh as you catch a fish out of a hole that, that's no bigger than an oversized bathtub. Been there, done that. Definitely got to try it. So that's pretty much my fishing pep talk for the day. Um, nothing fancy, but uh, yeah, it was. Uh, it's it's you know it's pretty good. Uh, pretty good thing to remember fish the little holes so and as we say and I don't have my wife here to say her part so I can't remember it but um, I have to think about it for a second but uh, safe travels tight lines have a good one y'all